Hey everybody, it's Gecko here, back with another nightly walk and talk. And this is going to be a rant. So let me go ahead and turn you around and I'll explain. All right. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I've had uh, a comment to one of my last videos the one announcing that I was a grandfather and I just wanted to talk about that in this video now this coward whoever she or he is deserves to be called out and I have since deleted the comment and uh muted that user and also blocked them from the site but the account they used was created specifically for that post because it was created minutes before the comment was posted it was probably somebody that knows my ex-wife but they don't know me and they don't know exactly what happened back then because they weren't there. And obviously they never heard my side of the story. And they blame me for all of the bullshit that happened when the truth is all of that bullshit happened to me. Now they're probably friends with my ex or it may even be my ex. I don't know. They decided to be an anonymous. Anyway. The situation that was going on back then was less than ideal. First of all, she was cheating on me. In our own house. While I was there. Asleep. And. She would go off. Multiple days of the week. With this guy. I don't even remember the guy's name. And I'm fairly certain he wasn't the only one. Not to mention, oh, well, I am mentioning it. She was very verbally and emotionally abusive. She would lie about me behind my back to other people, saying that I was gay, which is not true, and saying that I had threatened to kill the kids, which never happened. Truth is, I didn't just leave. I was forced out. And then once I was gone, the only way she would let me see the kids was when she needed a babysitter to go out and have her relations with these other guys. You know, well, I'm not free. I'm not a free babysitter. You know, granted, yeah, I took every opportunity I could to see the kids. But she made that next to impossible. So all of this bullshit that you're blaming me for was all her. All I did was survive the situation. And as far as looking at the divorce papers, I never disputed that she was a good mother. She was a good mother. And the kids were lucky to have her, even though she totally bashed the kid, bashed me to the kids, fed their heads full of lies. And now, you know, it is what it is. Back in, I think it was, well, back when they were like, the, the, the twins 
we're like 17. They would, had been asking about me and she said, well, your father was always online. Why don't you go find him? Well, they did. And we started talking over Facebook and telephones and we'd talk to him almost every day. And we were, you know, trying to be in their lives. Well, again, she threw down an ultimatum that they have nothing to do with me or she would withhold college financing. There were multiple witnesses to this conversation because she was on speakerphone at the time. So that cannot be disputed. <clears throat> and ever since then, you know, I'm sure more lies were fed about me. And, you know, it's been since, what, 1996, when they were five years old, <clears throat> that I've actually gotten to see them in person. And whoever this person is, obviously wasn't there at the time, so they don't know. All they have is her word for it. And she is a lying, manipulative woman who will stab you behind your back the first chance she gets. I mean, the only friend she had back then was uh, a friend that had married one of my friends that was in the army. <clears throat> that was her only friend. That was the only person who knew me. So whoever this person is, if it's not actually my ex, does not know me and cannot pretend to know me. They cannot pretend to know the situation that went on beyond what she's telling them. Which cannot be trusted. Now, I came to peace with the fact that I would never be in my kids' lives. They know where I am. They are of age. They're adults. They know how to contact me if they want to. And I have stated repeatedly, if you need me, call me. So, whatever it is that you think is going on is an outright lie. And with my recent family situations, me finding my birth family and reconnecting with them, it is entirely possible. It is up to them. I have put myself out there and that offer will always be available. It will always be there. But in recent years, I have found my entire birth family, my birth father, who has accepted me, and six half-sisters and two half-brothers who are thrilled to have found me. And, I mean, we have a family reunion planned for this July. And I can't wait for it, actually, because that's my heritage. We may have just met, but that is my heritage. That is blood. And just because I was not in their lives growing up since they were five years old does not change the fact that, yes, I am their father. And yes, I am a grandfather now. You can't change biology or DNA. And the relationship of it, well, that's all on her. That's not me. I put myself out there and they, she poisoned the tree. 
I will always be their father, whether I was there or not. And this person that you're saying that they call father and, you know, all of that. Well, yeah. He was there and he deserves that. I didn't have the choice. That choice was made for me. And I'm not bad-mouthing him. I'm sure he was a great father to them. But he was a great stepfather to them. By any legal definitions of the terms. And they didn't change their names until after they were adults. Now, if this person has any more to say, they are more than welcome to direct message me. All this family issues does not need to be vented in a public forum. If you got a problem with me, you come to me. You keep bashing me in the way you're doing because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You will keep getting the comments deleted and keep being blocked and muted and reported for cyberbullying. And your account will be deleted. This isn't the first time this has happened to me. Granted, the other trolls were just being assholes about my appearance and whatnot. Which, I know what I look like. I don't need somebody bullying me or harassing me about the obvious. You know? But when it comes to family, you come to me. Because you don't know the history. You know the lies that have been fed to you. And if you want to keep going about, well, the, she said this and she said this and you know, this is what the truth is and everything. No, because you've never heard my side of the story. You've only heard what her version of my side of the story would be. You do not know the truth. So stop your lying. Anyway, that being said, I just needed to air that. And I'm sure I'll have tons of blowback from this. And I'll deal with it. All right, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Just the rant. No real updates. So I'll let it go. Let me turn you around right quick.